हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी टाइप्स ऑफ पेवमेंट अ पेवमेंट इज द लोड बियरिंग एंड लोड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कंपोनेंट ऑफ अ रोड पेवमेंट कैन बी क्लासिफाइड एज फ्लेक्सिबल पेवमेंट नाउ व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय फ्लेक्सिबल पेवमेंट अ फ्लेक्सिबल पेवमेंट इज वन दैट इज मेड अप ऑफ वन और मोर लेयर्स ऑफ मटेरियल्स the highest quality material forming the top layer loads are transmitted through the layers care being taken to ensure that the stress in each layer are within the permissible values and the stress on the subgrade is within its bearing power the load carrying capacity of the flexible pavement is derived from the load distribution property and not from its flexural or bending strength the flexible pavement layers reflect the deformation of the lower layer thus if the lower layer of the pavement of soil subgrade is undulated the flexible pavement surface also gets undulated now this is a particular cross section of a flexible pavement at the bottom there will be a subgrade above that sub base base course and the last one that is the top course is known as surface course or surface layer now a typical flexible pavement consists of four components which we had already seen that is soil subgrade it is a layer of natural soil prepared to receive stress from layer above it is normally the top natural soil now the next one is the sub base cores it is provided beneath base cores primary function is to provide structural support improve drainage and reduce intrusion of fines from subgrade in the pavement structure a pavement constructed over a high quality stiff subgrade does not require subgrade it means that when the pavement is constructed above the stiff subgrade then it does not require any type of subgrade now the next is the base course it is provided immediately below the surface course provides load distribution and contributes to sub surface drainage it is composed of crushed stones now the last course is the surface course which is also known as top course it is directly in contact with traffic load it is superior in quality its function is to provide friction smoothness and drainage it is made up of dense graded asphaltic concrete the flexible pavement layer transmit the vertical or compressive stresses to the lower layer by grain to grain transfer through the points of contact in the granular structure bituminous concrete is one of the best flexible pavement layer materials other materials which fall under this group are all granular material with or without binder granular base and sub base course materials like the water bound macadam crushed aggregate gravel soil aggregate mixer etc major pavement failure are fatigue cracking rutting and thermal cracking rutting is the depression in localized area indian road congress considers fatigue cracking and rutting for flexible pavement design now rigid pavement which is our next type of pavement a rigid pavement constructed with cement concrete slabs depends upon the flexural strength or beam action of the slab for withstanding the wheel load thus a major contributor to the load bearing capacity is the slab itself the stresses are not transferred from grain to grain to the lower layer as in the case of flexible pavement layers the rigid pavement made of portland cement concrete either plain reinforced pre stressed concrete the plain cement concrete slabs are expected to take up about 40 kg per centimeter square flexural stress now this is a particular cross section of a rigid pavement at the bottom there will be a subgrade above that base course and the last one is surface layer or surface course the main point of difference in the structural behavior of rigid pavement as compared to the flexible pavement is that the critical condition of stress in the rigid pavement is the maximum flexural stress occurring in the slab due to wheel load and the temperature changes whereas in the flexible pavement it is the distribution of compressive stress 
the cement concrete pavement slab can vary well serve as a wearing surface as well as effective base course the rigid pavement are usually designed and the stress are analyzed using the elastic theory assuming the pavement as an elastic plate resting over an elastic or viscous foundation major pavement failures are fatigue cracking and pumping normally in india fatigue cracking is the only criteria adopted for rigid pavement design allowable number of load repetition to cause fatigue cracking depends on stress ratio where stress ratio is the ratio of flexural tensile stress and concrete modulus of rupture pumping is the ejection of soil slurry through joints and cracks of cement concrete pavement causing downward movement of slab under heavy load now next type of pavement is semi rigid pavement a semi rigid pavement represents the intermediate stage between the flexible and the rigid type it derives strength both by load spreading and flexural action when bonded materials like the pozzolanic concrete that is lime fly ash aggregate mix lean cement concrete or soil cement are used in the base course or sub base course layer the pavement layer has considerably higher flexural strength than the common flexible pavement layers if sub base and base course of flexible pavement is replaced by pozzolanic concrete that is fly ash lime and aggregate then the flexible strength of pavement increased this type of pavement is known as semi rigid pavement strength of semi rigid pavement is more than flexible but less than rigid pavement now next type of pavement is composite pavement a composite pavement has a mixture of the above types in its layer one example is a pavement consisting of lean concrete base a roller compacted concrete slab over it and a surfacing of bituminous concrete if bituminous layer is provided as a top layer over cement concrete slab then the pavement is known as composite pavement now the difference between the flexible pavement and rigid pavement in flexible pavement the flexible pavement have low flexural rigidity whereas rigid pavement have significant flexural rigidity the load is transferred through grain to grain contact in case of flexible pavement but in case of rigid pavement the load is transferred through slab action that is layer to layer now in case of flexible pavement if there is any failure at bottom layer then failure will be appeared at top but in case of rigid pavement if there is any failure at bottom layer then for a small cavity slab will act as a bridge over it now in case of flexible pavement no joints are required but in case of rigid pavement contraction and expansion joints are provided in case of flexible pavement the initial cost of pavement construction is very less as compared to its maintenance cost but in case of rigid pavement it has high initial cost but low maintenance cost now flexible pavement is designed as per indian road congress 37 2012 and rigid pavement is designed as per indian road congress 58 2012 that is all about the types of pavements thank you students